What's up you guys, my name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to quote pressure washing jobs. This is probably my third video that I'm making about quoting pressure washing jobs because it is a vast subject. There's no right answer to the quoting dilemma. My videos are just intended to help you guys along the path. So the first video that I made discussed the three different types of quoting, uh, which is quoting by square footage, quoting based on an hourly rate, and then having a flat rate for quoting. The second video that I made was quoting remotely versus quoting in person, the advantages and disadvantages of each and when you should utilize those. And this one's gonna be more of the psychology of selling, if you will, and how we can maximize every single quote in order to make the most amount of money. And this one is brought to you by the people of TikTok. Uh, I've recently started making a bunch of TikToks and a lot of people in there, I'll talk about upselling services or I'll talk about charging additional amounts for moving furniture and things like that. And I get called a scammer all day and people are like, why don't you just do it for free? You're scamming people, yada, yada, yada. So that kind of spurred the thought of what this video is gonna be about today. Like I said, the psychology more so of how we can maximize our quoting. With that being said, we're gonna hop into this one. The amount of money that we make is in direct correlation to the problems that we solve. So how can we make this pressure washing dilemma a bigger problem to solve? Before I answer that question, I wanna tell you guys about our sale that we are doing on our resource page. Every course on the resource page is 20% off right now and the deal is about to end. So I wanna let you guys know, this is like the last video that I'm gonna make on it. The deal is gonna be ending within the next day or two. Enter code NOVEMBER20 at checkout and save 20% on every single course on the resource page. First link in the comment section and the description. Be sure to check it out before the sale ends. So as I was saying before, the amount of money that we make is in direct correlation to the problems that we solve. So if we want more money, we need to solve bigger problems, right? So in the grand scope of things, in the grand scope of life, cleaning driveways, cleaning roofs, cleaning houses is a relatively small problem to have, right? Like why would anybody really need to clean the driveway? If you look at, you know, all of the issues of life, how can we make cleaning driveway a bigger problem than what it is? Because in the grand scope of things, in the grand scope of your life, it's not really that big of a problem. Our money is in direct correlation to the problems and pain points that we can create within the customer. So a couple of the, the problems and the pain points that you want to put on whenever you are quoting is ASAP work. So people that need work done as soon as possible. I recently posted a, a short here on YouTube and a TikTok as well where I was talking about a job that I did pulling weeds uh, and I made $250 in three hours. That was ASAP work. The lady had a party that weekend. She called me up. I think it was on a Thursday and she said, Justin, I need these weeds pulled because I'm having a party. Can you come do it? Whenever you have ASAP work, you're moving things around and you're charging a higher price because you're having to move things around. It's more of an inconvenience for you and the customer needs it done as soon as possible. So ASAP work, higher price. Families coming in for the holidays. This is a great pain point. Nobody wants to be embarrassed by their family. Families coming in for the holidays. Time saving. We want to save time. That's a great pain point to touch on. How much time are you going to waste messing around with your Ryobi pressure washer when we can come and just knock it out for you. Keeping up with the neighbors. The neighbors just had the house washed. The neighbors just had the driveway cleaned. The neighbors just had the roof cleaned. Last thing, HOA is on your back. Are you sick of that HOA sending you letters every single month? These are all great pain points that we can accentuate within the quoting process in order to drive up the price because the amount of money that we make is in direct correlation to the problems that we solve. These are all big problems. I need the work done as soon as possible. My family's coming in for the holidays. I don't feel like tinkering around, tinkering around with the Ryobi washer. My neighbors just got their house washed. The HOA is on my back. All problems that help to raise up the price of the quotes. So I recently posted a video on TikTok and here on YouTube and it was about an upsell that we did on a fountain cleaning. Basically what we did was we were on site, we cleaned the house. The lady had mentioned before that she was unhappy with the way her fountain looked. You know, she was wondering if there's anything we could do for it. We were already on site. We said, yeah, absolutely. $50 will take care of the fountain for you. We didn't know it necessarily what, what the job entailed or if it was gonna be hard to take it off or how much chemicals needed to be applied. We kind of took a shot. We were on site, $50 will take care of it. She agreed. And so we cleaned it up. It only took about five minutes, but I made a TikTok about it and everybody in the comments was saying, I would have done it for $10 or you ripped her off. You should have done it for free. If you had done it for free, you would have kept the customer for life. And this is what sparked the idea for this video, right? So right here, we have what this customer is willing to pay, right? So we charged her $50, but what if she was willing to pay $100? Well, then we left a ton of money on the table. Can you imagine if we would have done the job for free and she was willing to pay $100 for it? That would have been a huge mistake on our part. So we charged her $50, which she was willing to pay. And the reason she was willing to pay it was probably for any number of these pain points. ASAP work. She needed it done as soon as possible. We were already on site. She didn't want to call out another company. She didn't want to have to schedule another day with us. We were already on site. ASAP work. The family's coming in for the holidays. Absolutely. The family doesn't want to see a dirty fountain. Time saving. She wasn't going to do it. Keeping up with the neighbors. She lived in like a very affluent part of 
Louisiana and a very, very nice neighborhood. Of course, she's trying to keep up with the neighbors. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is this fountain upsell fit into a lot of these different parameters, which create a bigger problem for the customer. So because of that, we were able to charge $50. But like I said, what if she would have paid 100? Basically, whatever we charge in between what she's willing to pay is the perceived value for the customer. So if she was willing to pay $100, she got a ton, she got a ton more value. And if we would have gone up above $100, anything over, above $100 was not worth it to her. And she would not have paid for it. So the name of the game and our objective with all this is to maximize our profit, but still create a surplus of value for the customer. So had we had charged her $85, $90, that would have been really good on our end for maximizing the amount of profit that we can make and still deliver excess value to the customer so that's basically what this whole quoting game is right the customer's got a max price that they're willing to pay and essentially we're trying to get as close to that max price as possible without exceeding that so that way we can collect as much profit as possible and give the customer as much excess value as possible so that's why i wanted to talk about the pain points and that's why i want to talk about this meter because the more pain points you can cause the bigger problem that it is that we're solving and the more money that we can receive and basically the whole goal with the quoting is to create value for the customer but to also maximize the profit so what gets measured gets managed my homework for you guys is to keep an eye on your closing percentage so out of the last 10 quotes that you did how many of those jobs did you land you want to find your closing percentage and then you want to decide what's a closing percentage that works for me right because if i'm closing closing 90 percent of my jobs and i have a good lead flow coming in obviously we're, we're closing too many we can raise our price and that way we don't have to do as much work in order to make the same amount of money so if you have a high lead flow you can you can afford to have a 40 to 50 percent closing percentage because you want to get more profit for the amount of work you're doing so you can do less work and make more money however if you have a low lead flow you want to have a higher closing percentage if you're like me whenever i first started i wanted to land every single job that i got because i didn't want to have to go pass out flyers again i was sick of passing out flyers because that's how i was getting my jobs whenever i first started so anyway i wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys a visual representation of how we can create more perceived value for the customer, how we wanna maximize the difference between the value that the customer gets and the profit that we make, as well as how we can accentuate pain points and solutions for the customer in order to create bigger problems that we can in turn solve and make more money for those problems. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up for me. We're filming this one on the whiteboard again. I got the headphones in my hand. So the word of the day again on this one's gonna be headphones. As I mentioned before, if you guys wanna take advantage of that 20% off all the courses that we're offering for the next like day or two, November 20 at checkout, be sure to check it out. Anyway, my name is Justin, this is Forever Self Employed. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up on it and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.